Greetings, my name is Daniel Tal. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I just spilled a pot of coffee on myself. Thankfully, it wasn't hot. Hopefully, your day started out better than mine. I am going to go over one of my favorite features, Placemaker. It's the extension that I co-own with Mindsight Studios, Del Martin. And I use it a great deal to import in terrain. In this case, first I used the native location tool in SketchUp, and I selected the beautiful Red Rocks Amphitheater that's not too far from my house here, and I imported it in. And there's a toggle that lets you see it, oh, sorry, it's over here, as a flat aerial. And I'd move the terrain over to show you what it looks like. Well, I need better terrain and aerial imagery than that. So I'm gonna go import in this same location using Placemaker. I'm gonna select this area, roughly the same size, a little bit of the parking lot and the rocks and hit import area. And here you go, I have kind of a a resol uh, high resolution, uh, low resolution aerial. And now I need to bring in the terrain itself. Um, first, what I'm gonna do is actually import in an aerial. I'm gonna go to near map. I'm gonna select high resolution aerial. I'm gonna import imagery. I'm using some credits here to actually accomplish this. Oh, maybe I can use the maximum number. Let's import those in, see what the number is. Perfect. So it's the maximum near map resolution for this location. And it should be a, a fairly high resolution aerial. Ideal for our purposes here. The import of the high resolution aerial finished. You can see it's super high res. If I actually go to window preferences, graphics, and then use maximum texture size, this will slow down your SketchUp model, but it will increase the resolution here just a little bit more, especially for your outputs. I'm gonna go and undo that so I can uh, maintain some performance. Next, I'm going to import in the terrain. So here's our SketchUp version. I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna go to terrain. I'm gonna set, I'm not gonna limit the grid points. I want a really nice tight mesh here. I'm gonna set this to 15 feet and then hit import terrain. Now, the number of credits used is not relative to the accuracy of the terrain. It just happens to be how much data is being downloaded. And the accuracy ranges anywhere from, you know, 10, 10 to 30 meters down to inches, depending on the location. At this point, you could see that, oh, that was fast. It imported it in. And just to show the comparison of the data quality between the two, Sure, you've got some of the scaling on the sides. This is a really nice aerial. I can then use some, some tools that I have, some custom grading tools that I'll go over to actually uh, model that. But in comparison to the SketchUp model, and no offense to the SketchUp location tool, it's just a difference in which data sets. And obviously, I'm actually paying for these credits. And yes, when I use Placemaker, even though I own it, I do have to pay for the credits. Um, my business partner is pretty religious about that, otherwise, I think I went through 300,000 credits in one year. So anyway, um, that is how to import placemaker high resolution terrain and aerial. And if you like what you hear and see, please subscribe, hit the like button and share. And in the comments, please, please let us know what exactly you'd like to know more about. Thank you very much and have a good day.